and we back now today's video i am trading all 30 teams best player we did it a few months ago and y'all absolutely loved it but that was an nba 2k19 and nba 2k20 is kind of the same game but it's going to be a different outcome because we're relying heavily on this thing right here which is a random number generator be sure to leave a like on the video because it always helps the channel grow and we're trying to keep no overtime bigger and bigger and bigger so I have control of all 30 teams here from the 76ers all the way down to the Washington Wizards. What we will be doing is going and trading every team's best player. For example, Joel Embiid is the highest overall player for the 76ers. We're going to pick him, throw him through the trade finder, and 28 teams have an offer. Then, it is time for the random generator. Put the number 28 in and we generate. So we're going to be accepting the 27th trade. And in this case, the 27th trade will be for Steph Curry and Draymond Green. Ben Simmons is going with him. That is a tough trade. Now, the reason we're doing this video is A, because it's just fun to see players in new situations. But last time we did it, the Cleveland Cavaliers won a championship. And it's not like the Cleveland Cavaliers ended up with like a superstar. They just had an average team and they won a championship. So for some reason, when we do videos like this, it's like breaks the system and crazy things happen. So the very first trade has to do with Stephen Curry, Draymond Green, Joel Embiid, and Ben Simmons. Deal. Now, since we did this trade with the Warriors, once we get to the Warriors part, there's no trade to be done because, I mean, we just traded their best player. You know what I'm saying? So... Next team is the Bucks, which means that Giannis is going to a different home. We did this last year. Giannis got traded three times in the one video. So hopefully Giannis gets a little bit more luck. And there's only 20 trade offers for him. And for Giannis, we're doing trade number five, which will give them Trey Young and DeAndre Hunter. So the Hawks get Giannis. I mean, they're trading. They got Trey Young has been on fire so far in this NBA season. I think he's only played two games, but his numbers are insane. Um, but now he is going to Milwaukee, and Giannis is going to the ATL. Now, in this video, a lot of fans are going to be upset. Don't be. Just remember, this is a fictional world, baby. So we may be trading your best player for somebody not as good, but you never know what can happen in a KOT4Q video. Next, we got the Chicago Bulls. Now, our best player is not on the level of Joel Embiid or Giannis, but we got, you know, Zach Levine, 85 overall. He may get some decent offers, right? So there's 29 offers, and none of them is like for superstars, but we still got to trade them. And it's going to be the number 26 trade, which will give us Jared Coburn Wiggins. Wow. Uh, Zach Levine is going back to Minnesota. You know, he spent his first couple years of his career there. But man, is this trade, as a Bulls fan, I, I, I can't say I like this one. <laughs> I cannot say I like this trade, but the random number generator has spoken, and we can only listen and do what it tells us to do. So deal is accepted. The very next team is the Cleveland Cavaliers, similar to the Chicago Bulls. They don't have a superstar best player, but Kevin Love is still a good player. I mean, just a couple nights ago, he put up some crazy numbers. He was like an assist away from a triple-double, and they won the game. I don't know what the Pacers was doing. So there's 29 trades here. So it generated trade number nine for Kevin Love is going to give them Malik Monk and Michael Kidd Gilchrist. And they're throwing in the first round pick. <laughs> that right there is a bad trade. That is 100% the worst trade. I thought that trade last one with Zach Levine was bad. This one is even worse. But you never know. Again, it's a team that won a championship in last video. So maybe this is good for them. And then we have the Celtics, which means that Kemba Walker is out the door. Now, the teams like the Celtics, they already got so many nice pieces. Trading Kemba Walker may not hurt them too bad, especially if they end up with like a Steph Curry. So there are 29 offers here. So hit that generate button. And they're going to be trade number 21, which is for Pascal Siakam and Cal Lowry. That's a W of a trade. I mean, you get the two pieces for the price of one. You're also giving up Romeo Lang for whatever. But this is a, a, that's kind of a W trade because now let's take a look at what their team will look like. They're going to have Cal Lari, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Pascal, and then there's Cantor. Then off the bench, Gordon Hayward, who's having a good season. Jalen Brown, who in real life is starting everything. But I don't hate that trade for him. But I'm not a Celtics fan. Maybe Celtics fans would hate that trade. But for me, as an outsider looking in, don't look like a terrible trade. Then we have the Clippers. Now, the Clippers are an interesting case because when I trade Kawhi Leonard, they still got Paul George. They still got Lou. They still got, they still have so many pieces. So regardless of what this trade is, no matter what, they should still end up a playoff team, right? 
guess we're gonna find out so there's 20 offers and trade number 15 is the one we got to do that is for demar DeRozan and lamarcus aldrich Kawhi is going back to the spurs trade number 15 sends him back and maybe he gets booed i don't, I don't know how they would actually accept him huh because he's so good that you're not gonna be mad at him for that long because he is so good but now I'm going to mess with that rotation. I'm going to let DeMar start. And, of course, we're going to have Lou Will come off the bench. So, they're looking like Pat Bev, uh, PG-13, DeMar, LaMarcus, and Montrez Harrell. Uh, it's still a good team. Maybe not the championship winner, but it's still a good team. As we get to the Clippers, whose best player is, is it Valen and in 2K? It, Jaron Jackson Jr., my mistake, young brother. Shout out to you at an 82 overall. He was giving my Bulls buckets a few nights ago. I respect Jaron Jackson Jr. a lot. And they just got a win the other night. Um, so there's 29 offers. There's some decent ones in here. Like you got Draymond Green. There's going to be a lot of... Oh, imagine doing this trade. Okay, so there's 29 offers. We will see players get traded multiple times. That's just the way it works. And it's going to be trade number five, which was the trade I said. What if it happened? So now the Celtics look completely different. They don't have a point guard. They're going to have Carson Edwards starting for them. Pascal is going to Min, uh, Mim, Memphis with Cal Lowry. That is a crazy deal. I mean, the Celtics just got messed up on that, that one right there. So I am going to make it. So we're going to have Ja start at the two. I know he's that's not his position, but I can't have Ja coming off the bench. They got Iggy, who in real life is not playing for them. And Bruno Caboclo is their starting center because that was the only center they had in Valentinus. Okay. I don't know about that Grizzlies team as we go to the Atlanta Hawks. Now, like I mentioned earlier, hold on, Atlanta Hawks, like I mentioned earlier, we already traded the Atlanta Hawks' best player, which is Trey Young, so there's no other trades to be done for them. This is what their roster would look like unless some other team pulls a trigger with them. Now, the Miami Heat have Jimmy Butler. We still haven't really seen Jimmy Butler in a Miami Heat uniform in a regular season. Congratulations on the birth of your kid, but I would love to see him back on the court, and I know Heat fans probably would too. But we're getting trade number 22. Trade number 22 is going to get the Heat Russell Westbrook. They're throwing in Tyler Hero, who's a Heat favorite already. But they're getting Russell Westbrook. Do y'all remember last year, Daryl Morey offered the Timberwolves four first-round picks to pick up Jimmy Butler, and the Timberwolves said no? Now they get they get their uh, Jimmy Butler. I mean, they're giving up Russell Westbrook, but they get their Jimmy Butler. And that's a deal. That is a deal. Uh, you tell me who won that one. So now their team is looking like Westbrook, Eric Gordon, Justice Winslow, Kelly Olenek, Bam Adebayo. Guess we'll see if they end up winning a bunch of games. When we get to the Hornets next. Now, the Hornets' best player was Terry Rozier. And he's still on the roster, so we will trade him. We will trade him. And let's see what they get for Terry Rozier. Technically, their best player overall-wise, but I don't know if that's the fact. And 2K just takes forever, and I mean forever, to just load the trade offers. Hello? All right, 29 offers for him, too. Again, these are not going to be trade up oh, 23. These are not going to be amazing trades for a guy like Terry Rozier. They get Derek White back in return. Same overall, different play styles and everything, but the deal is done as we get to the Utah Jazz, who's best player. We're going to give it to Donovan Mitchell. He is higher on the, the tier ranking right now, even though Rudy Gobert is also an 88. But Donovan Mitchell is the first name I saw, so that's the name we're going to do. All right. 29 offers for him as well. Some big time players. And they're going to be doing trade number four. Trade number four is to the Cleveland Cavaliers for Darius Garland and Jordan Clarkson. Wow. Um, okay, the Jazz just went from a contender to, I don't even, not a contender. Not at all. They got a young Darius Garland coming to town. But the Cavs, after that trade, the Cavs are looking like what? They got Donovan Mitchell, Tristan Thompson. Not very good. Still not very good. Because that Malik Monk and... Man, that trade was pretty bad. So the Jazz just lose Donovan Mitchell. I'm sorry, Jazz fans. And De'Aaron Fox is next on the list to be traded away. So many young guards in this league, man. De'Aaron Fox is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I need to see him pick it up. A couple games into the season, he been kind of slacking. I think he had one game and he was pretty good. But the other two games, he was like mediocre. And now with the Kings losing Marvin Bagley, it's like, what happens next? But 29 trade offers for him. And it's going to be trade number 20. And that's going to give them Reggie Jackson and a first-round pick. That's an L for them. But for the Pistons, big W. Big-time W. 
Next team is the Knicks. Now, the Knicks' best player is Julius Randle. 83 overall. He's probably not going to bring you a superstar unless you throw a first-round pick in. If you throw a first-round pick in, anything can happen. So, let's see what Julius Randle can pick up for the team. 29 offers. Draymond Green is there. Oh, Russell Westbrook. All right. So, they, they got some superstar offers. 29 trades. Knicks fans, could this be your lucky day? You're getting Shea Gilgis Alexander. I love Shea Gilgis Alexander, but if you're trying to compete, this ain't help you. But for the future, Shea Gilgis is that man. And you're trading Julius Randle for him. You're trading Julius Randle for him. Maybe that's a solid trade for OKC for a one-year challenge because they still have Chris Paul. And now they have Julius Randle. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But now this team is looking like a stack of point guards. A stack of point guards even higher. It is what it is, though. Lakers, LeBron is out the door. 24 offers for LeBron James. Some teams don't even want to offer anything. Don't even want to offer, which is crazy. And we're doing trade number 10 for LeBron James, which will give them Marvin Bagley and Buddy Heald. LeBron is still in the Cali, but he's going to Sacktown. So that's going to have... Sacktown's looking kind of weird nowadays. So they just picked up Reggie Jackson. They have a lot of small forwards here. <laughs> they got a lot of small forwards here. I guess you can run LeBron at the power forward or Harrison Barnes at the power forward. But that trade is so weird. Like the rest of the team is eh. But whatever. Next team is the Magic. And their best player is Vucevic. So let's see what Vucevic can give them. If Julius Randle was getting superstar offers, I would guess Nikola Vucevic could too. If you start to throw in those first round picks and everything. 29 offers. Maybe, oh, Russell Westbrook is always out there. Okay, 29 offers for them. Let's see what they get. Trade number 15 is the one we have to accept. And trade number 15 will give them Chris Stapps Porzingis. Wow, Chris Stapps is going to Orlando. Wow, I mean, Magic fans, tell me what you think about that trade, man. Because now they try to run Eric Gordon, Aaron Gordon, sorry, at the small four. But I think you can run it like this. I think you can run it like this because Borzingis is so tall. Run him at the center. Everything else just looks good. Markel Fultz. I would still want Evan Fournier starting because off the bench, Terrence Ross is a, is a monster. That's how I would have the team and probably still start um, DJ Augustine. But uh, this is not my team. So I will go to the next team, which is the Mavs, which means that we will be trading Luka. We traded Luka and Porzingis back to back. It's tough. I'm sorry, fans of the Mavericks, but it had to be done for the video, and it's going to get them trade number 16. Trade number 16 could be anything. It's Kevin Durant. It's Kevin Durant. So since we're trading Kevin Durant now, the Nets will not have a trade to be done. Porzingis, I mean not Porzingis, Luka and Vucevic are going to Brooklyn. Kevin Durant is going to Dallas. Wow. So what is Kevin Durant playing with nowadays? He's going to have... DeLon Wright, Tim Hardaway Jr., Dorian Finney-Smith, Bobby. Can Kevin Durant get this team to the playoffs? We will see. Nets is next. but Oh, never mind because the Nets just traded away KD, which means that Kyrie and Luka, this team is still pretty nice. I mean, obviously, they'll be better with Kevin Durant, but this that's not a bad trade to have. The one problem is they got so many centers. I guess you can make Vucevic a power forward. And that just makes them better. Oh, that's a nasty team. That's a nasty team. Next, we have the Nuggets. One of the up-and-coming stars in the NBA, Nikola Jokic, is next to be traded with 29 offers. He's going to be traded with trade number 23, which will give them Kawhi. Kawhi is moving to a new town. He got booed so hard in his opening back to San Antonio, they had to get him out. And now he is coming to Denver. Wow. Jokic is like the perfect center for Popovich. That's all I got to say. Jokic is the perfect center for Popovich. And now Kawhi is the best wing player, or just the best player in general. And um, Denver. Pacers, VO, got to Geo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's see what he gets. He gets 28 off instead of 29. So let's change that here. And we will be doing trade number 27. A lot of these trades have been in the late 20s. That's all I'm saying. And Joel is going to Indiana that is a basically the third center they don't have in his roster because they have Turner and Sabonis and now Joel and B but what we can do is the same thing I did with Vucevic make Turner a power forward and now these two guys anchoring your defense is crazy 
but they are guards and yeah that's tough that's tough will they make the playoffs we will see pelicans best player is drew holiday i wish zion was playing because maybe his overall would already be higher in 2k drew holiday is the next guy to go and he brings in 29 offers so we got to change this up here to 29 and we're doing trade number six trade number six will give them lamarcus aldrich another power forward coming to the pelicans i mean they already got zion i guess we can make lamarcus a center but they got Derek Favors. I don't know. This is sure. We'll just do it that way. That's that's a bad trade. That's a bad trade. But the Pistons are next. Now, the Pistons did make one big trade. They got De'Aaron Fox. But now they're trading Blake Griffin. This team could instantly be turned around if they turn Blake Griffin to a superstar. Because he will get superstar offers. 29 of them. And 24 is the one we're doing. And that's giving them D-Book. D-Book. Wow. I mean, Blake Griffin has a higher overall, right? But I like Devin Booker for this team. They're going to have De'Aaron Fox and Devin Booker. Kelly Oubre also came over in that trade. And Christian Wood at their starting power forward is tough. But you still got Drummond anchoring the defense and getting a lot of rebounds. This team is not bad. This team is not bad whatsoever. And we're moving on to the Raptors. Now, we already did that Raptors trade because we traded Pascal Siakam um, and Cal Lowry. So, we'll move on to the Rockets, which is James Harden. Because he is their best player. I know we already traded Russell Westbrook. But he's technically not their best player. 22 offers for James Harden. And he's going with trade number 20. So many trades have been in the 20s. Damian and CJ. That is a W. That is a W. I mean, if all things considered, right? You have to trade your best player. And you're getting back a star and a co-star. So now their team is looking like Dame, CJ, Jimmy, PJ, and Clint. Oh my god, that team is a championship contender. And move on to the Spurs. Now, the Spurs, we already traded their best player, which was LaMarcus. They got back Jokic, which was a W. Um, we already did the Suns because we traded Devin Booker. We still have to trade Chris Paul. Chris Paul is the best player on this team. So, Chris Paul has to be dealt. We already traded Shea for Julius Randle. Who knows what Chris Paul can get? Chris Paul could possibly get you a star. He could. Because you got the picks for it. Just throw in the pick or two. That's all. A pick or two can definitely get you a star alongside Chris Paul. And 2K finally gets us to trade. So, that is 29 offers for Chris Paul. And he gets 27. So, like, 90% of these trades have been late 20s. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. 27 gets them Nurkis. That is an L. That is an L. Because you already got Steven Adams. You already got Steven Adams. You don't need another big. And they already traded Shea. So, this is their roster. That's a tough one to digest. And Cat has to be dealt. Whew. Let's see what Cat can bring you. 27 offers. Steph Curry is one of them. So you could luck out here. 26. I, wh what am I doing? I'm not doing anything wrong. It just happens that we keep getting late. And we're getting Ben Simmons and VO here. That is a crazy trade. But after this trade, I don't think the Timbers really have a center. They got Gorgi Zhang. So they're looking like Ben Simmons, Victor Oladipo, Robert Covington, Thaddeus Young and Gorgi Zhang. Zach Levine off the bench. Oh, this team is nice. I mean, obviously it would help if they had better bigs. But defensively, they should be tough. They should be tough. I mean, there's a scenario where you do this, right? There's let me let me work this out for them. You run Ben Simmons at power four, and you put like you run it like this. You run it like this. If I, that's what I would do, right? Trailblazers, we already traded to Damian Lillard. We already traded Stephen Curry. And last but definitely not least, Bradley Beal is the last one traded in this video. He could potentially shake up everything. He could. He could shake up everything. So let's see what we get for him. There's 29 offers here. 29. And trade number 25. We're going to do trade number 25. But look, you keep spamming and you keep getting 20s. Anyway, trade number 25 it was. And that's for Blake Griffin. And that is the deal. That is the final deal of the video. Now, what we have to do is simulate. See who wins it all. See who wins the awards. Every team is looking completely different here. All right, end of the season is here. I went with the Pistons to watch because that team was just looking too decent. And they end up winning 51 games. So, Atlanta's Giannis wins MVP. Zion still wins Rookie of the Year. Six-man of the year went to Gordon Hayward. Defensive player of the year went to Kawhi in Denver and most improved went to Miles Bridges. Coach of the year went to Frank Vogel with the Lakers. So even without LeBron, they still went 60 games. So let's see. 
Steph Curry, new team, first team All NBA. Everybody, first team All NBA is on a new team. Second team All NBA, D'Angelo Russell makes it. You know, he stayed with the Warriors, but without Steph Curry there, he was able to drop 26 a night with nine assists. Go crazy. Um, everything else is pretty self explanatory. Chris Stapps in Orlando, he averaged 26 and eight. Wow. All right, all right. We, we got to see which teams are great and which teams were bad. Let's go league standings. The Brooklyn Nets were the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. I forget who's on their team. Oh, that was the Luka. Yes, this team. Yeah, this team is nice. This team is nice with Luka, Vucevic, and they still got Kyrie. It makes a lot of sense that this is the first team in the East. Second team is Philly. They don't have Joel and B, but they got Steph Curry and Draymond, which is pretty dope if you ask me. This team is definitely still a contender. Steph Curry averaged, what, 33 Six and 50 40 90 club ridiculous numbers. Then we got the Pistons team that I was following with D Book and De'Aaron Fox. D Book average 23. Drummond, they're all their numbers are kind of down because they were sharing the ball. Who's the worst team in the league? The Hornets makes a lot of sense. They, they got Kevin Love who averaged about 20 for him, but you know, 2K don't, don't show them much love at all. The Knicks still end up being pretty bad because we traded Julius Randle for Shea, but for the future, they probably set up pretty nicely. Pretty, pretty nicely. Then the Wizards, uh, they got Blake Griffin to go with John Wall. That didn't really work out well. The Bulls still suck with Jared Culver and Wiggins. Wiggins averaged 14 for them. Larry Market averaged 18. Where's my boy? Did I, did I pass him? Oh, Kobe. He only averaged 8. 2K, come on. He do, he do a little bit more than that. So that's the Eastern Conference. The Magic didn't make it. If I'm not mistaken, oh, no, the Magic, oh, they got Porzingis. I thought they did a bigger trade than that, but they didn't make it. The Cavs do. Colin Sexton, Donovan Mitchell averages 26. This team made the playoffs. Shout out to the Cavs, man. Shout out to the Cavs. All right. Out West, the Lakers, Rondo, Buddy Hill, Cal Kuzma, Marvin Bagley, Anthony Davis. The best record in the entire league. This is their lineup. I mean, it's, no, it's not bad, but I definitely wouldn't expect this team to have the best record in the entire league, but they did it. They definitely did it. They got a lot of big men. Look at that. That's Four straight centers in their rotation. The Rockets still end up being pretty good with Damian Lillard, CJ, Jimmy Butler. Yeah, this team is nice. That team is real nice. I, uh, they may be my favorite to win it all. That's just me. Clippers still there with Drew Holiday instead of who? Instead of who? Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> and then who's the worst team? Tim, who's the worst team? Was Dallas Mavericks with Kevin Durant. Wow. KD put up his numbers, but I, he can't do it all, man. He can't do it all. He definitely was going to struggle with that team. Memphis still needs a lot of help with Pascal Siakam and, and Cal Lowry, but it just was not enough. Pascal only averaged 13. That is kind of tough. The Jazz don't make it because we traded away Donovan Mitchell for Jordan Clarkson. So that makes a lot of sense that they didn't make it. Let's see. The Suns didn't make it. They were very close, though, with Ricky Rubio, Bradley Beal. Seku! He averaged four his rookie season. DeAndre Ayton. Not suspended. Average 16. The Thunder made it. Wow. The Thunder made it work. Okay. I did not expect this team to make the playoffs, honestly. So, who was their guy? 18 for Schroeder. Andre Robeson averaged two in like 30 minutes played. Two? You can't give me two layups? Just one layup. Because he wasn't hitting the streets or his free. I don't know how that boy got a job if he putting up numbers like this. I'm sorry. I know he ain't the lead defender, but dog, I'm going to have to get somebody else some run if he putting up numbers like that. Uh, but let's see who wins it all, man. I'm super excited to simulate the entire playoffs. I'll try to keep an eye for any upsets or 3-1 comebacks or anything like that. It's kind of tough to watch both sides at the same time, I must admit. So, 3-1's over on that side. And, uh-oh. Oh, I saw Denver almost blow a 3-1. So... We do have basically the higher seeds, except for in this series. Atlanta does get out of this first round, barely. Giannis and Eric Gordon in the game seven both had good games. So now we have Brooklyn, Atlanta, Philly, Detroit, Houston, South, Houston Clippers? Clippers? I'm out of it. And then San Antonio, LA. Let's see. I Like I said, I think I'll pick Houston to win it all, but they, they're down. Now it's 2-2. Two, 3-2, two. Two, not in their favor. The Pistons get eliminated. I don't care about that. Houston's there. All right, 1-2 versus 1-2. The Lakers are dominating Houston. The Lakers were dominating, and they blew a 3-0. Wow, CJ in the game seven. 
Not the first time in the game seven CJ put his team on his back, man. That's crazy. They blew a 3-0. Not a 3-1, but a 3-0 AD. What's up? I mean, AD did his thing. Nobody else really showed up for him. So we have Kyrie versus Damian Lillard. See how this goes. Kyrie and them up top. Uh-oh. That. Uh-oh. Back-to-back -back comebacks for the Houston Rockets. That was my championship pick, and they did it. Damian Lillard, finals MVP. Oh, my God. What were they down? So this is game one. They lost game one. So that's a 1-1 one -one series, 2-1 series, 3. They, they came back from 3-1, and they win it all. Just like that. See, the, I, love, I love this video so anything can happen. So if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave it a like. This has been Kenny. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.